Well, hello, hello, hello there, people in the view of us, as I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, I've got some news for you, yes, so some more No Man's Sky news, funny enough, um, but is it news? Again, you decide, people. In fact, I'm going to put my No Man's Sky cap on, So that, yes. Goodbye, flat cap. Hello, No Man's Sky cap. <laughs> yes, awesome. Anyway, let's jump on over onto the news that I've got for you guys in the view of us, I guess. Oh, could do with putting on some music though before I do that. Let's bring up the old Winamp. Let's do that. Okay, so let's uh, let's jump on over to the screen anyhow. Bum, 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 reactions. There we go. Bam. Well, let's uh, remove that video piece from there. Chuck that down there. Hit play. Pow. Probably wondering what this website is, aren't you? Well, this website is the No Man's Sky System app web version. But I would I would suggest putting it on your actual mobile device. But the reason that I've jumped on over to here, as you can see, this progress bar is at 97% right now. And if you click on this community tracker, you get yourself a nice sort of interactive graph. Now you can see the previous tier, tier two, it was at 83% at nine o'clock on the 2nd of February. Then from 83% within one hour, it jumped to 99%. Okay, so whenever you see those sort of massive leaps, you know that's not community interaction. I mean, why would it happen at 10 o'clock? This is GMT time, this is all UK time. Boom, straight up to there. It doesn't make any sense, does it, at all? The, the actual progress is not driven by the community. This is totally done by dates set inside of the game file and also server side. And they can change the game time server side without putting in an update or without doing anything like that that changes. When you see this sort of interaction here, maybe that is slightly community driven, but then every now and again, Hello Games will jump in and intervene and push it up. It's like there, nine o'clock, and then up to 11 o'clock, it went from being 59% all the way up to being 72%. Just doesn't make sense. Unless what's happening here is they're tracking one community, like maybe PlayStation, then every now and again, getting all the progress from PC or from Switch, or well, not from Switch, because Switch can't run Quicksilver missions yet, can they? And chucking it into here. Maybe that's what's happening. Maybe that's why we're seeing these spikes every now and again. And it's just every now and again when people have got time at the Hello Game Studio to do it. I don't know. I don't know how it operates. But at the same time, all I can go by is what we can see here. Now, it's on Tier 3. And you can see here, again, there was another jump. It went from 77%. Again, funny enough, at 9 o'clock. And then by... 11 o'clock again or, or, ten, or 10 o'clock 11 o'clock or 10 o'clock it's jumped by a massive great big swave and that seems to be an ongoing pattern doesn't it nine o'clock there's a jump nine o'clock there's a jump hmm suspicious nine o'clock <laughs> there's a jump it's suspicious and maybe somebody at hello games comes in their first duty of the day Check the community progress. If it's not where we want it to be, make sure it freaking is. Okay. Yeah. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> Maybe that's what happens. You know, we can only make assumptions. We can only speculate on this stuff because we don't get any word from Hello Games as to what's happening. Anyway, so tier three, this freaking underwater rock has gone from 85%, boom, up to 92% in a very quick space of time. And then it slowed right down. It's going freaking like a slug and freaking taffy right now, mate. And it's sitting at 97%. I expected this to be 100% unlocked, and I expected us to be on the cape today, people, when I woke up in the view of us. But we're freaking not. We're freaking not, mate. So I jumped over into game just to make sure that this is definitely a thing. So here we go. I'm in game. Hello there, Johnny5. I call him Johnny5 because he looks like the little robot out of short circuit. Hello there, mate. And you can see here, above my head, right now, 97%. So if you have got the No Man's Sky Assistant app, or you set this web page as a favourite inside of the web version, you can check progress without having to log into game to see if it's worth jumping in to grab the next thing that's about to unlock. And not only that, it actually tells you how much that item is and all sorts of other shenanigans, and it tells you what the next item is going to be inside of the community missions, and we can see here that's going to be the Tentacle Cape. If I wanted to know how much this aquatic colony is going to cost me in Quicksilver, I can see it right there. 
500 quicksilver it's going to cost, so I know that I need to grind a little or not. And yeah, click the tentacle cape, and there's the tentacle cape right there. That's going to cost 3,000 quicksilver. Holy fudge Yes, and that's probably going to take, the, like, you know, like the whole last three tiers combined, maybe, to unlock, maybe about three weeks or so which takes us up to the first week of March. Now you're probably thinking, well, this is all well and good, Captain Steve, but this is not new news. No, you're right, but I have got new news. So the new news, other than maybe they might be messing around with the freaking Quicksilver times again, is the sales have started. So you know that we look for various signs. We look for the depots, we look for the emoji, and we look for the sales. Well, yesterday we kind of got an emoji from Sean Murray with a heart, but it maybe he was just re-liking an image, but it's weird that he retweeted the image that was from seven days ago. It almost like he's saying, well, this was seven days ago. I'm resharing it now seven days later. So what's going to happen in seven days time? Well, in seven days time, that's when the PlayStation VR 2 is said to drop the 22nd of February. Now, when you look at the sales, although the sales are happening, they're only happening on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. And I'm seeing this as $16.99. Whenever I click on that, though, it says it's already purchased, so I can't confirm it. So I ask people, if they could give me screenshots of what they see because it was the actual community Andrew Lake hit me up with a personal message and see that my freaking battery life is about to die yeah but yeah he said there it's down from like 29 what, to 29.99 from 39.99 if you're just a regular user but if you've got PlayStation Plus you're going to get it for 19.99 which is freaking bargains mate now if you have pre-ordered yourself the VR setup I would strongly suggest picking up No Man's Sky because it's not like a tech demo it's not just part of the game is in vr the full freaking thing is in vr and if you want to show off your new swanky vr to your mates what better way than to have your ship right there and saying, yeah, just get in that spaceship. And you get in the spaceship and you can actually move around your hands inside the spaceship. You put your hands on the joystick. You put yourself on the freaking throttle and you actually take it off. And it feels amazing when you do. You know, with all the haptic feedback, it's probably going to feel even better than when I experienced it in PlayStation VR. In, the first time I experienced it in PlayStation VR was amazing. In fact, I'll find my reaction video. I'll put it at the end. We can watch that together because I just want to relive that, that, that moment because it was a proper moment. It's like the first time I played No Man's Sky modded. It's that sort of moment. You're like, oh my God, this is freaking amazing. It's a whole paradigm shift. Anyway, we'll play that at the end. A little treat for your eyeballs, if I remember. Now, down here, I've got this one that says the next Steam sale happens in, what, is that four days, nine hours and 43 minutes? Yes, it's uh, February the 20th. Hmm. And it's it's called Mystery Fest. Well, you know, No Man's Sky is kind of a mystery sort of exploration-y type game. It might be in the Steam sale. We can only but wait and see, can't we? But the interesting thing, the sales, are they don't, they've not hit Xbox and they haven't hit Switch. I've got a few tabs open. We'll go check them in a moment. We'll see if they've changed. I'll give them a refresh. But they haven't come over to those platforms as yet. Funny thing is, this sale ends in the first week of March. Cast your mind back like two minutes ago where I was talking about the cape and when I think the cape might actually become unlock unlocked first week of March, maybe, you know, so there's a couple of things that coincide the end of the sale, the end of the cape. Maybe then there might be an update is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking PlayStation VR 2 is going to come out, you know, on the 22nd and then Hello Games can use that time. And to do all the bug fixes and things like that. Oh, hold on. Look at the. Hold on. This is this is a weird shot because it says here offer ends on the eighth of the fourth, twenty twenty two. I don't think that's a new screenshot, mate. That that seems to be a weird screenshot. This one though. This one it says the offer ends on the first of March, twenty twenty three, at midnight UK time. <laughs> so yeah first week of march so maybe i think we might see something around the first week of march to sort of you know a trailer or something like that or the emoji might drop the actual real one because i'm in two minds about that heart the other day was he just using that to sort of say the date for PlayStation VR is a 22nd, 7? I'll go back to that tweet in a minute and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, let's go back to it now because we've reached the end of that. Basically, the sales are on PlayStation only. Keep that in mind because I kind of think that the update is only coming 
to the PlayStation 4 and 5, maybe for the PlayStation VR 2. You see, so basically he liked this image on the 7th of February. So if we scroll down, there it is on the 7th of February, yeah? 7th of February, okay? Now he retweeted this and put the heart on it on the 14th of February, seven days later. But the time that he did it was at like 11.25 at night. So fairly close to it ticking over to the next day. So it's not like saying happy Valentine's Day because it's freaking over. Everybody in the UK that would have seen this, well, he's in the same time zone as Sean Murray, They'd probably be in bed, asleep by that time, you know, so it might as well have been the 15th, you know. In fact, it, yeah, I saw this at about five minutes past midnight when I chimed in and put my comment on it. It was five past midnight, and I thought I was the first on there, but no, I wasn't. I was mistaken. It was late, freaking late. Anyways, so if you go, what, seven days from there, so seven days onto the 14th, brings us up to the 21st of February. But if we go by the time that he actually posted this, which was like, what, 25 past 11, so getting close to midnight, might as well say the 22nd, which is when the PlayStation VR update is about to drop. So I think he's done this on purpose to say, you know, there's only another seven sleeps to go until you get yourself freaking PlayStation VR 2. It's kind of what I'm thinking, you know? That's kind of like my sort of way of rationalizing this. Anyways, on to the sales. Let's give this a refresh and see if this 39.99 changes on the Xbox, shall we, people? Refresh! Boom! Are you cheaper? No, you're not. You're still $39.99. So, no, not on the Xbox. Okay, well, let's try that on Switch. $39.99. Chicka boom. Still $39.99. <laughs> it's not going to change, is it? And we know that Steam isn't going to change probably until maybe the 20th, and maybe it might fall into there. But look, $49.99. On... The prices really do freaking vary depending on console to console. But why is the PC so bloody expensive? Doesn't make sense, does it? It should be $39.99 as well, in line with console, in my opinion. Then again, you can run mods on this, and yes, it is going to be running nice and smooth like butter, and probably not having as many crashes on those other consoles. Right, anyway, <laughs> let's press on on so is no man's sky still coming to the mac in 2023 now we know it didn't arrive in 2022 because you know it was actually announced in june 2022 that it was coming to apple mac yeah now this actual publisher on january the 18th decided to write a one-page freaking article <laughs> to say yeah it didn't come out in 2022 we freaking know that but when is it coming out in 2023 and all this article says is sometime in 2023 <laughs> Tell us something we don't know, article person. Yeah, it's, it's not the best of articles, people. But yeah, iOS is still on the horizon. Now, what I, the reason I left this in here, I mean, it's a bit of freaking fluff, to be fair, isn't it? But the reason I left this in here is because if it comes to PlayStation VR 2 and there is no content update, so it follows the same pattern as when we saw it come out on Switch, where there was no real content apart from a, a launch rocket, and um, they, they changed the UI up a little bit, and they changed all of our modules and things. You know, that wasn't really a massive content update. If anything, it was just a rejiggery pokery of things. And it makes you wonder whether we can see the same... If we see the same pattern for PlayStation VR 2, then I'd imagine we're going to see the same pattern for when it goes to Mac as well. Which, um, maybe this is just going to be a year of making sure that it's on every platform and making sure that it's stable on every platform. Maybe this is going to be a year of polish, but then I don't see how it's going to put No Man's Sky at the top of the Steam charts as per Sean Murray's other tweet the other week. So, yeah, uh, so Sean Murray... Uh, I can't really do How do you do the advanced search? I'm, I'm terrible at this. But yeah, he put out a tweet a little while ago saying, yes, it's been a fantastic year in 2022. I'm hoping that 2023 is going to be just as awesome or something along those sorts of lines. I find the exact wording. If Here we go. Here it is. Thank you for making No Man's Sky one of the most played and best selling games on Steam again in 2022. Let's make 2023 a big one. Well, the only way that is going to happen is if there are some content updates that bring it up the Steam charts. Putting it on Apple iOS is not going to do much on the Steam charts, is it? Because it's the Apple iStore that it sits on. Putting it on PlayStation VR 2, same freaking story, mate. So unless there's updates that affect PC, the Steam charts probably aren't going to change. And right now, the numbers on Steam are not that favorable. Let's just put it that way. And so unless we see some more expedition, 
additions, reasons to jump in and play, or some really hefty content updates that are as good as 2022, if not better, it's not going to be a big one, is it? So you can read this message from Sean Murray two ways. Um, the way I want to read it is, yes, we're going to have a lot of content updates because they want to get it as far up those Steam charts again as possible this year. Yeah, that's that's pretty much where I, what I, there's no other way it can happen. Okay, so where was I on my little tabs? Oh yes, Steam Depots. Let's give this one a refresh because this is where we're looking. We're looking to see if the internal branch has flickered at all. It hasn't, and it's, it's staying at two months. It hasn't moved. Oh, something about that hasn't moved is my level of tea. Hold on, let me get some more fuel in me, people. Freaking lovely, lovely jubbly. Anyway, so yeah, Steam Depots haven't changed. So yes, we're seeing sales, which is another sign. Yes, we've seen an emoji, but is it the real emoji? Is this the real sale? It's, it's not, is it really? It's not the signs that we're used to seeing. It's partial signs. I, I'm gonna tear my freaking hair out. Sean Murray, Hello Games. Well, that was one year before you released VR for PlayStation. Before Beyond, before Next, you put out a roadmap. And that roadmap was freaking great because it just gave us an idea of what you was working on. And when we gave you the feedback, you know in which order to put it out in. But we knew all of those things were going to come eventually. Please do that every year. Please do that every year because that was brilliant. Brilliant. I tell thee. I'll have a look for that in a moment, see if I can find it. Anyway, let's uh, let's jump on over onto YouTube and let's see if I can find my Captain Steve first experience with VR. Captain Steve uh, NMS VR. Let's see if it comes up. No man, first impressions, Captain Steve in VR. Or origins, first impressions in VR. Brilliant. Okay, well, now I've got that. I'm going to drag out another tab onto the screen you can't see. I'm going to be looking for that nice little nugget of information, the actual roadmap that I was on about. And for you guys, I'm just going to click play on this. So hopefully you're still seeing that. I'm just going to click back onto my Streamlabs to make sure that you're seeing that, to make sure that the sound levels are okay before I go off and do something else. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Make the quality of that. Oh, fudge and git. Okay, that's about as good as it's going to get for you. Right, I'll make that full screen as well. Let's hit play. I'm going to go on the other screen, and I'm going to be doing my other thing over there. Okay, chums, well, I've just booted up Origins in VR, and, oh, my days. I'm at the archive, but this is where my robot face is. And look, you can see him sitting right above me, like a big iron giant. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, wow. In VR, these archives really do have a sense of presence. I must say, my base looks freaking ace in VR. Wow, this planet is ace in VR. Those mushrooms are actually so big. Let's go have a little look around, chums. Let's go and have a little look-see. So I'm not using the move controls. I'm using the D-pad, mainly because... Uh, oh, my joypad. Mainly because my, my move controllers aren't charged at the moment, chums. Oh, look at the bioluminescent grass. This is freaking awesome. Oh, wow. Yeah, so a few, a few people have said that VR in Origins is just amazing, and I have to agree. Look at that. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. That is amazing. Oh, the level of detail on this model. That is so cool. That is... Uh, you, you, it's a completely different game than VR, chums. It really is. It's it's amazing. Oh, that is so beautiful. My first impressions, I am blown away. Ah, oh, this is ace in VR. I mean... Okay, well, uh, we're going to go and explore the NMSA hub. Taken off from here could be interesting. Oh, it's so cool to be in the ship. I can even look around and see my droid. Look, there he is over there. Hello, droid. That is so cool. Right, anyway, I'll see you at the next Arrived in a new system. First contact, this is good. Okay, right, so let's have a little scan of some of these planets, and we'll see if there's one that takes our interest to land on. I'm heading towards some reddish sort of coloredly dyed dotties. Let's see if it has got red grass. Oh, I think it has. Super. Lovely and jubbly. Okay, let's head on over there. 
Okay, well, people, I have found it. Let me put this over on this screen so you can see what I'm seeing. I found it over on um, Reddit first. Um, yeah, I couldn't really find it on Sean Murray's feed. But yes, this was over on Reddit. Yes, No Man's Sky Roman, uh, Roadmap Leaked, 100% Totally Real. Yes, this came from Twitter. So this is something that Sean Murray put out there on his Twitter feed. And it was a No Man's Sky Roadmap. I want one of these every freaking year. So they did all of these things. And some of them they'd already started doing. It's like the reason that these have been crossed off is because they'd already done them so that was when the abyss came out you know stranger varied more planets well that was when we got like the exotic biomes so all these other things that people were scratching them off as they went vr support was on there so we knew that we was going to get all of these because he actually said in the tweet above you know we are hoping to bring all of these into the iteration into game but what order would you like them in please vote for the one that you want the most so it gave them an idea on what to work on in what order freaking loved it freaking great you know, replace the orbs with full character models. <laughs> this was before we got next. It was before we got Bart Beyond. If they did this every single January, that would give us a load of stuff to speculate on. During this dry spell that we've had for like, it feels like eons. It's not eons. We know it's not eons. But because they sort of down tools over the Christmas period, even if they put this out, say like December time and said, this is what we're hoping to bring next year. But in what order do you want to see it? This would give us so much to speculate on, build hype on, you know, <laughs> and tell them the ideas that we'd like to have included in some of this stuff. They would get much better community feedback from what we actually put out there, wouldn't they? You know, this swings both ways. It's not just for us as content creators or as gamers, or as players or whatever, or as the community. This also feeds back into them because you know, we can give them, we can say, oh, polishing existing features. Well, I, I hope that you do something with settlements because at the moment, settlements, you don't feel like an overseer. You know, you're just plonked there. You've got a load of NPCs that you don't really care about. I want more control over which NPCs come and live there. And I would like better interactions with them, a few missions. I want more meaningful buildings. I want to be able to sell my own produce, that sort of stuff. You know, I want to choose the two products that my actual facility and puts out there into the universe and i want to set the trade rate and blah blah blah, blah. you know make it more sim like a little bit like you know theme park or whatever these sim games you know yes a little bit more hands-on so yeah this went down a, a freaking treat to be fair you know so look there's loads of ideas that are coming through on this already loads of people coming in with freaking ideas and stuff and you know, they can feed off of not just what content creators do but on the likes of reddit and other social spaces I can't see any drawbacks with a ro road map like this, and I can't understand why they didn't do it each year. You know, it's, it, it makes perfect freaking sense to me, people. I would hope, hope, Hello Games is... In fact, I'm going to send this to Hello Games. I'm going to send this to the Zendesis video and say, look, please give us a road map each year because it's it would, it would save a lot of speculation going in the wrong way. You know, at least this has got markers where you can set your speculation and set your ideas to. Where at the moment, it's just up in the air. It's just a free-for-all. And the speculation happens off of a freaking emoji, which is as cryptic as freaking fudge. And it can go either way. You know, the hype can go off the rails. If we can keep the train on the tracks, then hype and speculation is good. But when the rails aren't pointing anywhere, you know, who knows where that journey is freaking going to go. It could take you into a freaking dark tunnel of nowhere, which it had did do during freaking Waypoint. But we won't talk about Waypoint too much because... <laughs> I don't, yeah, OK. Well, well, it's the only thing we have got to talk about, let's face it. Yeah, if we had a roadmap... Hello, games. <coughs> Hello, games. Yeah, please give us a roadmap. Anyways, I've got to the end of all my tabs. Now, if you did like that VR sort of first impressions, I know I cut it short, um, but I've got a whole VR playlist of No Man's Sky. So if you liked that video, I'll put a playlist um, in the top right hand corner up there, uh, just up there. Click that for my No Man's Sky VR playlist. And then hopefully when I get um, a VR 2 for my PlayStation 5, I'll be doing another one of those playlists, people. Heck yes. And a revamped one for current year and iteration and i might even start a fresh save and do it all through again but in vr which would be freaking epic i i, 
I'm looking forward to it. Um, sadly, I'm going over to the Philippines, though, and um, I, I've, I'm pretty much drained all my funds. This is to meet my partner's parents for the very first time as well, people. I am shite in my pants, but I'm excited at the same time. Excited diarrhea. Interesting sort of shenanigans going on. And I'm fairly sure that's going to get worse the closer it gets to the time, because, you know, English isn't their first language, and Tagalog definitely isn't mine. <laughs> So this is going to be fun, but I'm going to document it all. <laughs> I'm going to put it out there as vlogs. So yeah, if that tantalizes you too, just me, me <laughs> being in very uncomfortable situations, but exciting ones, then uh, yeah, hit subscribe because that's coming in April. April, people. That's fast approaching. Yeah. And I'm getting ready for that trip. Anyways, I'm, I'm banging on, going off on a tangent, but hopefully you, I just like making people smile on my channel. And I'm hoping that this video has even done that. You know, I like to deliver, even if I haven't got the greatest of news to deliver, I hope I deliver it in a way that does at least make you smile. All right, people in the viewers, well, have a good day and take care. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again.